How's it in Aloha, your Uncle Burpee Yoga? Feet. They are nature's, one of the nature's greatest uh, vegetables or fruits, whatever you call them. They're sweet. I know you guys only eat them during uh, Thanksgiving, but uh, it's really good for you. It helps you uh, keep your blood pressures in check. It adds to your athletic performance, high uh, potassium and manganese. And it's just so many things. I'll list it as I'm talking, but we're going to make a very simple beet veggie side dish. And, uh, you know, let's get to it. And oh, by the way, please like and subscribe to the channel. We'll bring you food from the Unk. Always 10 minutes or less to cook it. Otherwise, I go outside to eat it. Let's get it. Bro, after a lot of red work, I would suggest you get a glove because uh, they do stain, but it washes off real quick. Beets. Done beets. Now I'm going to make the sauce because I forgot to tell you what we're making. We're making uh, honey glazed beets. And uh, beet inherently by itself, you can actually eat it raw. So you can actually take a piece. I'll take a piece, maybe a small one here. I'll eat it. I'll show you. Very crunchy. It's a cross between like um, carrot, but sweeter. And at the end, there's a bite, like a bitter taste. Right, that is really good. So our job is to bring out the sweetness and tamper the bitterness. By the way, the three of them cost me like a dollar. So it's it's super easy meal to make, super nutritious. And uh, I'm gonna tell you how to make the sauce. The sauce is pretty simple. I want to use honey in there, but honey is right now being warmed up. Soy sauce, butter, some water, and for the crunchiness, I'm going to put in some chia seed. You don't have to, that's optional. That's pretty much the whole sauce. And then, well, uh, let me see if I can make it. I think it's done. There it is. Yeah, that should do it. Some soy sauce. Oh, I forgot. The other thing that was kind of important, brown sugar. I would not use white sugar. The brown sugar gives it a, a more um, flavoring. I think that should do it. The butter I'll put in on the sauce when I'm cooking it. So now let's go get this uh, like a very fat. Yeah, I just put a little bit of oil in there. If you want it to be healthy, you can just do water. I'm gonna leave it in there, nothing else, and just have it cook for a while. Yeah, that's our guard, nothing. That's all I can do. You notice I uh, did the beets in different shapes and sizes. So when I cut it thin like this, like kind of like this, what happens it cooks faster. And then when I put it in blocks like this, yeah, this is a real live house. One take Fred, one take Jack. One tip on cold burpee yoga. And these will be crunchier. Because like I told you, you can eat beets actually raw. So you you really don't have to cook it. But you know, our family have different tastes in terms of crunchiness, what they like and what they don't like. And by me cutting in different shapes, everybody will get to enjoy what they want to enjoy, right? The one that wants it soft, they will take pieces like this. 
the one that enjoys it like kind of crunchy like me and kind of raw I'll get, get the pieces like these right so that's the plan so all I'm gonna do is slow cook it very slow I'm not trying to fry them I and nothing else and you don't even have to have oil if you want if you don't want but you gotta have water and you're just gonna slowly move them around and then let it heat up that's pretty much all we're doing all right it's been a few minutes you see how I spread it out all the beet roots because I want to give it maximum exposure to the heat and the longer you cook them the softer they become like there's a there's a way for you to like oven bake them and roast them too but dude I don't have that kind of time see so now there's different textures for the whole family Again, if you like the same texture, do one thing. So now comes the main thing. It's a fast bomb. Butter. Butter in. If you don't want the butter, it's okay. Right? When that's done, remember that thing in my jig? You're going to have a little bit of water, just a little bit. You're going to stir it. And it will be better if you have hot water. There it is. By the way, real honey, right? So you don't want to make it too soft or too hard. Just it all depends on how you like and your fam like it. When in cooking, there's no correct recipe. Is how you guys like to eat it, okay? Or you wanna copy a restaurant, then you do that, but I copy the stuff that it tastes good to my family. You stir it, and you put it in there. Okay, now, high heat. And let it do its thing. Oh wow, I tasted the sauce. It's a bit on the salty side even though I didn't add any salt and then it's on the sweet and tangy side so now I'm gonna add in the slurry which is basically cornstarch and water and thicken it and start plating it it's very simple right here you add water to it just pour it in let it do its magic Slow down the heat, or even turn it off, because it'd be glazing. And now, instead of what wok cooking used to do, we're going to leave it here and have the heat tenderize the beet roots. And you taste it too, to see if it tastes good. Oh my. Oh no, delicious. Yep. We're gonna start painting it. We can't really move anything because it's gonna turn red. Chia seed for the crunchiness. Sesame. There you go. Let's get the beat on. Yeah, well, not really. Let's go try it. That's the most important thing. So now I'm going to mess it all up because it's got to mix together.
And then when that happens, the flavor bursts from everything. And then we're going to take right here. Mmm. Oh, wow. Um, Uncle Purple Yoga. Health and clean living. Mmm. If there's no constraints, I will literally cook it with like my Thai peppers. It is so good. So the other way we eat it is like a wrap. So we put all the different type of food that we have along in with the good food, which people think is bad. And we wrap it and we eat it together.